Very nice touch. Uh, Eastern Conference Finals uh, is headed to a game seven after LeBron James last night had 46, 11, and nine, and Kevin Love and Jason Tatum collided, Ooh, and Love got the worst of that, and he will miss game seven uh, under the league's concussion protocol. Ernie, we were arguing about that. How does that work? He can't get tested again? He's under, well, he's under the concussion protocol no, but now, but I think there's a certain amount of time you that have once, you, once you once have concussion-like yes. symptoms. That, that's, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, we so were arguing about that downstairs. Could, could, he couldn't get tested tomorrow with my question. I think wow. there's, no, not with, the, not with what once, you've got to go through. Once you, once you have a concussion, like once they diagnose you that night, it says he has concussion-like symptoms. There's a, there's a, a certain time amount of he days. has to wait a certain amount of days to, days to be tested again. So in the long run of his life, that he would be okay. Okay, I, I didn't know. That's why I asked. Yeah, so he is a uh, so he is That's a first. a no go uh, for Game Seven, and uh, here's what they're talking about with Kevin Love unavailable to go for Cleveland. We've been dealt with so many guys going in and out, not just this season, but since we've been uh, started this this chapter. This next man up, Jeff, Larry, myself. We all got to be huge. Obviously, you know. It's, it's can never replace K Love being an All Star, but we all got to find a way to come together as a team and and pick up the pick up his his load. You know, it sucks that he went down, but um, you know our motto is next man up, and that's how it had to be. Uh, myself, um, Larry came in, gave us great minutes. Kyle played great, so it's a collective effort. You know, we we, we would guard obviously a little bit differently um, with Kevin in the game, but um, you know, obviously with the different matchups that they're playing and everything else. Um, you know, when they went when they went small, I thought, you know, those guys all reacted very effectively. You know, we know it's challenging. They tend it on their, on their home floor. And um, you know, they've you know, been very successful against us, obviously, at home. So, you know, but if you love challenges, then you know, this is a great opportunity. One game from the finals, game seven. I mean, yeah, I can get out there and do something for that. Come on, got to be ready. Ready to play. No excuses. Game seven to go to the NBA Finals. We got to be ready. Coach, did you see anything in the three games that you've already played at Boston that gives you enough confidence that you can go in and win a game seven without Kevin Love? Yes. So we see what happens no, I'm scared. in Boston <laughs> what are you gonna say? Where, where the no, Celtics I, 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 are 10-0 during the postseason as they take on the Cavs tomorrow. What are you thinking, Shaq? Just like I told Chuck what would happen. Boston would lose game six, and they would go to game seven. I think it's, it's a lot of pressure on them. Right now, they're young fellas. And in order not to be young fellas, you have to persevere. Are they ready to persevere? I don't know. I don't think so. I think the pressure may get to them. I need one guy for Cleveland to step up and have a, a nice game, Mr. J.R. If Mr. J.R. can have a nice game, LeBron, does what he doing, everybody else feeling. I like well, Cleveland because the guys are young, and I'm not, you know what I'm saying, you know, being young, but I'm just saying, when you're young, you have a different mentality, and this is pressure, pressure that actually, they've never felt before. Actually, it was actually nice of Ty Lue to play Clarkson, uh, Larry Nash Jr., guys like that. He actually, Jeff Green, he had to put guys in the game, give them an opportunity to be successful. That being said, I'm going with the little, what's the little, little leprechaun? Yeah, that would be a I, I leprechaun. I am going with the Boston Celtics. And you keep saying them young fellas going to fold. We I said, never said they were going to fold. I, I just said no. Yeah, you I, said they were going to freeze said, up in game seven. I never said they were going to fold. I said in order for them to not to be called young fellas anymore, they have to persevere. It's a lot of pressure. As, as they as have went to game that. seven against Milwaukee. Milwaukee is not the same. They have went Milwaukee, to Milwaukee. Hey. Milwaukee's not, the, listen, this game right here, if we win, it's going to be a lot of their mind. We win this game, we go to the final. Boom, 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 bam, bam, bam. It's too much hey, to think about. Yeah, it, 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 it's good as the Greek freak is. It's too much he, to think about. He's not LeBron James. Exactly. Yet. And, and when LeBron James, this is a guy that Tatum and Brown idolizes, without question. They had to. Tatum should be a sophomore, and Brown should be a junior in college. You mean the guy they all smacked up three times already? Yeah, but yeah, he, but, now he, you smack but, him up but, now, time. but yeah. hey, listen. You see LeBron's record in Game 7s over the last hey, listen, 10 years. Man. He's going to try to pull as it off a, again tomorrow night. And my and, analytical brain says Boston, but as a fan and watching what LeBron James has done, 
As a fan, I say there's no way he's going to lose a game seven. As a fan, analytically, I say Boston. Well, well, well you have to pick. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to go with my fan brain or my analytical, analytical brain. brain. And I'm going with my, you have a choice of brains. I'm, that going, is I'm going to say I'm going to be a fan. And I'm going to say that the King will rise. Well, I'm saying we can kill him. Go ahead. You know. Even though I picked them at the beginning well, of the series. So you're going with Cleveland. Man. He really I'm, is. He's wait. going with wait, Cleveland. Wait, I'm not waiting. I, I'll say it before the commercial break. Well, let me just say this. Go ahead, Shaq. You know, as great players, when when you have your best games when ain't nothing on your mind, they're going to be out there. When, uh, one game, you go to the finals. Uh, if we don't do this, Kyrie's coming back next year. I'm not going to be star. We won't, they got too much stuff going on. LeBron hey. LeBron said, hey, opportunity. We just uh, got to start. You know, they hey, get one other guy to hey, step up. I admire the king, okay. but you know what we're going to have tomorrow, tomorrow night in Boston? A coup. We're taking over this country. Uh, A coup. Uh, we're, we're, hey, we're taking it's over the party. King's reign. By it's the a way, tea party tomorrow. <laughs> by the way, the last time that the Eastern Conference and Western Conference Finals both went seven games, there wasn't even a shot clock. It was 1979. Washington won the East. Seattle won the West. Both of those going Did you do seven this game, games. Bernie? This is remember, remember Bobby oh, Dandridge. Bobby, Come on, who doesn't? Bobby uh, Dandridge no, going, years old. going for 37 in that game. Oh, oh man, look at about Come on, uh, pass the ball. Wow. You got three guys on you, Bobby, Bobby D. One of them better jump then. Washington <laughs> won that game by two over San Antonio. The Spurs were guy. in the East then. Jack, Jack, Jack Sigma. Sigma. Jack Sigma had 33. Oh, the, oh, then great. the great Dennis Johnson. Oh, yeah, Dennis Johnson. 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 DJ oh, had 26. Oh, man. The, oh, oh, the, the, oh, the, the Greyhound. Greyhound. The Greyhound. The Greyhound. Walter oh, Davis oh, had 26. Watch his move, kid. Oh, don't do it. Give it to him. That's a tough move to guard. Man, yeah. Gus Williams Gus, and Dennis Gus. Johnson, that was the best backcourt that I had Ernie, seen growing up. So that was 1979. Let me say this, but we don't have to worry about that. Because you're, because the Rockets are going to win tonight. I got said. a feeling. The James Harden, I got a text from one of my great mentors, Billy Cunningham. It's going to be a Magic Johnson-like performance. They got no pressure on them. So James Harden is Magic Johnson. He's going to be Magic Johnson. He's going to have a triple-double position. See. I'm telling you, he's going to have a triple-double. And just to just to clarify everything, too, on the, uh, on the Kevin Love situation, you were asking about the concussion uh, protocol. Yeah. A player cannot return to floor until he is without concussion-related oh, symptoms at rest, evaluated by a physician successfully completed the NBA return to participation exertion protocol and the team physician has discussed the decision with the director of NBA concussion what the hell does all that mean program. Yeah, so there is no day limit then that, that, that's just a bunch of gibberish yeah if okay well if you can do all of that in a I'm day just saying, well he's got to run but, tomorrow that makes me or today he's got to be running today yes, I guess. but obviously well, the, he can't run tomorrow is my question no but i'm saying he'd have to be running today to get cleared and say oh he passed yes, the sir. test but obviously, I, obviously obviously the cavaliers are not letting him run they release today. they released the the statement today and saying look kevin love is not going to play Kenny, Ernie, in game seven ain't nothing hold me for no game seven okay i'm going straight to walgreens get some advil we, we, we some going to play. I, i'm with advil you on this I'm not missing a game. I thought you said you were a doctor. I have a doctor. Doctor suit. No, you've got a concussion. I ain't got nothing. No, that's right. I'm ready to go. When you're 60 years old and turn and shaking, you turn five. I think that's malpractice. And then you're gonna be saying, "I should have sat out."